Welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about chasing the infamous max hit of 314 by using the Darox set combined with the Knife's Edge and Twin Strike set effects. If you thought a max hit of 314 is broken, well, I've got some news for you. As many of you pointed out, there's another relic in the game called Bandosian Might. By wearing four Bandos items along with my Darox set, I'll get an extra 28 max hits for just a single fragment slot. And because of twin strikes, we can double that. But this relic also changes how the Darox formula is calculated, and I've confirmed that the new potential max hit for this league is over 450. We're gonna have to grind some clues to make this possible. We'll need a Bandos stole, Bandos boots, a cloak, and some bracers, but thankfully, I love doing clues. And we are now chasing the elusive max hit of 450. And chest number 20, um, I don't really know what I'm leaving, honestly. I'm still enjoying it, but obviously I should be, uh, should probably be going for barrage because it would make it so much faster. But I'm just having a good time, I don't know. All right, I'll go for, uh, I'll go for 30 KC and then I think I'm going to work towards tier 5 and barrage. Oh, Fragment, hello. Thrall damage, ooh, Endless Knowledge, Arcane Grimoire, okay. The Arcane Grimoire is incredible, by the way. So what this allows you to do is when you have the Endless Knowledge set effect on, you can switch to any spell book. I can absolutely incorporate this into my Barrows runs and just make it ridiculously overpowered. Like I could switch to the Arceus spell book just to teleport to Barrows and then go back to the Ancient spell book. Like there are a lot of possibilities with that thing. So I'm actually really happy to have gotten that fragment that's awesome hey man what's up man let me tell you about balls oh okay what do you mean this is a manscaped dad a what this video is brought to you by manscaped.com it's a new year, which means a new you. Manscaped recently sent me the Performance Package 4.0, which is an all-in-one head-to-toe men's grooming and hygiene kit. The cream of the crop here has to be the Lawnmower 4.0, which is amazing for beard maintenance, but it's also specifically designed with advanced skin-safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts on the most sensitive areas of your body. It's also completely cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower, which is super convenient. We also have some of my favorite products, including the Crop Preserver and the Crop Reviver. Great for all-day body odor protection, and a quick refresh. And of course, we can't forget about the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. For a limited time, when you buy the Performance Package 4.0, you get not one, but two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. You can head over to manscaped.com to get 20% off, plus free international shipping and these two free gifts when you use code SETTLED at checkout. Oh, Torex plate legs number two. That's actually good though. Um, I, I mean, look at this Alk. Look at this money. 571k. Th that's from Alking two pairs of Torag plate legs. That's insanely good. Barrows is genuinely a good money maker just because of Alchemaniac. All right, well, it's not quite 30kc, but I'm going to go start working on tier five. I think the first thing I'm going to do is do the major arena stuff and uh, some wilderness bosses. So only bad part about this is I don't have any prayer pots and I don't have auto cast, which means... I need to prayer flick while manual casting a hundred times on each one of these spells. Ooh, clued in fragment, unlocking the last recall set effect. If you guys watched last league, you know exactly what last recall is and how broken it is. So that is uh, one hell of a thing to unlock. Boom, all three God spells unlocked. Let's go farm uh, 1 billion points by casting these spells outside the arena. Number one, and then number two two and number three 75 points and six renowned from doing all that that was definitely worth it and let's go kill scorpio i'll be taking one odium shard please rune 2h okay wait dude i can big brain this we alk the rune 2h okay okay hear me out and then we use that money to enter the wilderness resource area for another task. It's tough being the best sometimes. Finally, oh my God, that took a while. That was uh, probably like seven minutes of flinching for that chaos elemental kill. But that's another task done. So we've gotten like 125 points in, uh, I wanna say like 40 minutes. So honestly, pretty decent. Quite a few tasks having to do with mining. So I'm gonna spend 10 renown on this and just unlock it. Boom, 41 mining and another task. Gonna mine some pure essence real quick, just so I can complete all 49,000 rune crafting tasks. Task completed. 50 cosmic runes, task completed. Yeah, I'm back at the library for 44 rune crafting so I can do the nature rune tasks. 
probably take me like 10 minutes, so. Ah, yes, just unlocked Rudy 2D 2X Runies. Chance to get double runes on runecrafting. I don't really plan to runecraft, honestly, so it's not really that big, but one last book. And there we go, 44 runecrafting. Let's go. 50 nature runes, done. <gasps> oh my god, I have been here for an ungodly amount of time, and by ungodly, I mean like 25 minutes. I didn't think it would take me that long to get a Ranar seed, but I got it. Also got a ton of thieving levels from that, so that's pretty nice. Oh, is that a task? Well, it only took the fight of a lifetime with this cow fight guardian, but I will get 25 points from this, and we now have tier five, which is probably the biggest deal until tier seven. So we now have a fifth fragment slot, obviously, but we mainly get a 12x XP multiplier. We're no longer getting 8x XP, we're getting 12, which is a massive deal. So that's why I wanted to prioritize tier five before I go training my magic up to 94 though, because it's just going to make it so much faster. I'm getting 50% more XP now. Okay, fine. I'll train more thieving. Stop asking. Hey, what's up? It's me, 71 thieving. Wanted that for the pyramid plunder rooms because that is a ton of points in the future and I'm going to want tier six. So points, points. All right. I think it's about time I unlocked range just to have every single combat stat. Literally held on to these black knives just so I could train range super quickly. Let's go train some range real quick. Get the basic tasks done and yeah i'm gonna train my range up to like 50 something because i can just complete a ton of tasks that way and uh i'll just make a little montage or something i don't know 70 range that's where i'm gonna stop for now nice level to get but i do plan to chin the rest of my range so there really isn't a point of me afking it to 99 70 is gonna be nice though because i'll be able to wear some black dehyde while chinning and chinning is gonna be like an hour to 99 so it really doesn't make sense to afk further than 70 but 70 is a nice baseline for everything that i want to do for now so i'm gonna very quickly afk 70 defense while i'm editing and then i'll be able to wear my full barrow set e Z. Boom, equip a barrow space. Thieving is just the freest points, man. And there's another task, 50 points, three renown, and we are now one renown away from unlocking desert treasure, and then we can finally start working on barraging. I cannot think of a better way to get my final renown for unlocking desert treasure other than petting the museum camp dog for five points and one sage's renown. There we go. All ready to go for Desert Treasure. This unlocks a crazy amount of content. I also get Death Plateau, so I get some climbing boots from this. I, I love how that's what I'm focused on and not like unlocking everything else, but climbing boots are cool, okay? And I get to Barrage now, so that's awesome. Well, I don't get to Barrage, I get to Burst, but I'm gonna get up to Barrage. And the Ancient Spellbook also has like 400 points to get from it just for casting things. All right, let's make a very sound investment into an Ancient Staff, because uh, I am definitely not gonna be manual casting to 94 magic, but that's very cool. No task for that. What the heck, Jagex? Actually... Yeah, there's literally so many tasks for just like teleporting or casting spells with the ancient spellbook. There's a task already, 50 points. So I'm gonna be bursting temple spiders. I think it's the pretty much the best thing I can do other than go to like the monkey minus two caves, which I don't have unlocked, but these are super AFK and they drop temple pages. They drop grubby keys. Grubby keys are gonna be amazing for future supplies. I can get a ton of brews and prayer pots and restores. So maybe I can get some inferno and fire cape supplies from here. Yeah, I can pretty much just sit here and get a ton of XP kind of AFK even. And I also have Draken's Touch, so I'm healing 5% of what I hit. So this should be pretty damn nice just to chill here. Let's open my first grubby key for the task. There we go. Grubby chest open. Yo, what up? It's me, AD Magic. So I found out how insanely easy this is, by the way. I can pretty much just AFK with full armor on. And since I have Unholy Wizard, uh, I get 125% magic accuracy boost, and I just never miss, so I can just keep this full set of armor on, not really take any damage, and just heal what I get back. 82 magic, and we cast Ice Blitz for another 50 points. Getting so many grubby keys, these supplies are gonna be so nice in the future. Oh my god, so many grubby keys. Hey, 100 combat from 89 HP. 92 magic, and blood, blah, blood, blah, blood, blood barrage. What's up? Hey, hey guys oh that is a god tier fragment dude i'm actually so happy i got that i was hoping i'd get that somehow that gives uh double triple and i think up to quadruple points for uh pest control barbarian assault and soul wars but what makes it amazing is the fact that it has both knife's edge and twin strikes god bless the fourth rose dungeon i am 94 magic that is so so relieving i mean Honestly, I've just been kind of AFK and I, I really just haven't even looked <laughs> for the most part today. Uh, and I kind of just got it, uh, not even paying much attention. But there's Ice Barrage unlocked. That's four points. Let's cast Blood Barrage. That's going to be another 
Uh, 125 league points for renown. Oh, it feels so right turning spiders into massive ice cubes. It's just, it's so much better than that little, like, popsicle looking thing with the ice burst, you know? Feels great though, man. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit longer because if I get 96, I'll be able to do spellbook swap. 99 magic is another 125 points. So I don't think I'll camp for 99, but I'll probably get a little closer at least. Shadow barrage for another 50 points and three renown. Smoke barrage for another 50 points. This is what I was talking about though. There's just so many tasks like that. What? Who is selling swordfish in multiple trips to the Arceus rune store? What? 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 Okay, How? they clearly know something that we do <laughs> yeah. not. Um, Dude, maybe what? someone is Arceus locked Ultimate Iron Man. 401, you said? Yeah. Don't leave yet. We're leaving in 30 seconds, Jim. Tell the driver to hold up. Intermediate boat done. We did it. That was a very long game. That was literally harder than the intermediate boat. Novice boat done. Fine, I'll use 100 points on prayer to get closer to Pidey. You don't have to beg me. There we go. 65 prayer, almost 66. All right, guys, we're back in the figurative saddle again. No, but it really should be insanely easy now. The two relics I currently have equipped are Chain Magic and Draken's Touch once again. And uh, I never have to leave Barrows. I literally can just stay here. I don't need food and I don't need prayer. It is actually unreal. Well, you can see the damage I can do with Barrage now while wearing full tank gear and being able to keep my distance and heal with my attacks. Like Faithless Crypt Run, very cool. Hard combat task. Yo, there we go. What an amazing item. Carol's Crossbow on chest number 30. Probably do some really cool things with it with the range relic. So that is one down, three Carol's pieces to go. Say that. Why would you even say that? Why would you say that to me? Ferrex Skirt! Oh shit! That actually is really good though. Ferrex Skirt is great. Oh, Elite Clue. Can I complete it? Probably not. I actually can't do it. Nope. All right. Combat Fragment. Okay. What will it be? Special Discount. That's actually a good one. Wait a second. That's the one that uh, lowers special attack energy for special attacks. Once I get a God Sword, that is going to really see its use. Yeah, Jim, I won't get copyright claim for playing your song, right? You won't get caught. You won't get caught. Don't well, worry. It depends if you get an item or not. Okay. Jim, it didn't work. I told you, dude. Hey, good morning. It's 97 Mage. We're back at Sand Crab's AFK because we've got a video to edit and here's 95 strength. What's up? Look at that. Max out 10 fragments, 75 KC. And as you can see, we've been using a bit of a different method. It's what I talked about, uh, I think briefly at Temple Spiders. I'm just using Endless Knowledge to teleport out and just restart my run. Yo, Verakian Helm, what's up? Bury the bones for good luck and... Varex flail, it worked. There it is, 100 barrows chest done. We're apparently just getting started, so I realized that I probably should have been on defensive casting a while ago because I don't need that high of magic anyway. But yeah, 100 chests. Let's see how many it takes to get my second DH piece. We got our first on, I believe, chest 17, so completely out of blood runes, actually. Carol's Coif, wow. That's actually the second piece of Carol's. All right, we take it. It's, uh, I, I feel like Carol's might be really fun to mess around with with the Amy of the Damn set effect and uh, like double tap and stuff. So does this give points? It does, 50 points. Very special moment for me, guys. 99 magic. Really glad that's done though, because uh, I'm just going to be focusing defense casting for all of my magic from here on out forever. So I might get a really solid defense level just from defensive casting. Holy double chest first double chest of the league. It's not great, but I will take the Aram said that's a new item and it should help my magic bonus on Aram. So yes, we take it beautiful 1000 total level and they said barrels wasn't efficient, huh? Surely this is a new Darox piece. Yes, another Aram's HUD. It's exactly what I didn't want. You think doing 110 barrels chest is reason to take a break from my screen Jagex? I think you're Yes, a new item, finally, and it's actually something useful. I can drop my or alchemy mystic bottoms now, and that'll help with Aram. We take that. Chest 190. Yes, Aram's top. Beautiful. That's full Aram's. Wait, that's my first, uh, that is my full Barrows set done. There we go. Hard task complete. I didn't think it would be Aram's. I really thought it would be Varex, but turned out to be the full Aram set, which looks so sick, by the way. Look at me, dude. I look so sick. Now I should have absolutely no problems killing Aram though, and it's just gonna be great, so. 200 Barrow's chest done. Uh, it's pretty much all in one day as well. I still have not stopped, so. Uh, I am, I believe, rank three Barrow's at the moment. 
Torag plate, elite clue. I mean, it's good money, good elk either way. I've decided to take a short hiatus from Barrows. I know, I know, absolutely despicable of me to do something like that. But but with the Mother's Magic Fossils Fragment, I get like three times as many points in Mage Training Arena, so... I should be able to get infinity boots insanely quickly. Infinity boots are a task and they'll just boost my morale, dude. They look so sick. They're honestly my favorite boots in the game if I had to pick. There we go. That is the last room, 120 points. I'm so ready for my shoes. Where are they? Please give me my shoes. Thank you so much. Yes, they're so beautiful. Favorite shoes in the game, man. Favorite boots in the game. Just so good. You just, you see someone with infinity boots on and you're like, holy shit, that guy knows what he's doing. And I'm that guy now. I'm that guy. People look at me and they're like, wow, give me what he's having.